Hi, my name is Josh, and I'm a watchaholic. Welcome to Horology Insanity. What is up, my watch friends? So, check this out. Today, I just want to do kind of a first impressions video with this new Zelos comet. Now, this is specifically the salmon version, and I also picked up the white NASA version with kind of like the black loom. And so we'll be checking these out. I really just want to give my first impressions. You know, as you can see, as of right now, they're unworn and I haven't been able to give them wrist time yet. And so I want to do that. Uh, what I'm going to do though, I do not care for these standard leather straps that come on these Zelos. So I'm going to be swapping out these straps so that I can wear it. This NASA one will be going in my NASA collection, which is not just watches, right? I've got some other NASA stuff. I've got a bunch of NASA Lego. And so for those who are unaware, I'm also kind of in the Lego hobby. This will go great with that. I also have all the NASA G-Shocks. Oh, I've got my Zurich NASA watch with the ISS variant for the International Space Station. So with that, though, I'm really interested in this one just kind of being part of that collection. Maybe I'll do a NASA state of the collection sometime. Would y'all want to see something like that? Does anybody else collect NASA stuff? Or do you have other hobbies that blend into your watch hobby? So, for example, my Lego hobby and my watch hobby sometimes interact with each other. And I'll have another video I do one day on how that comes together. Yeah, let me know what you think there. So there's the NASA one. But what I really wanted to do in taking a first look at this salmon one is compare it to another iconic Zelos salmon watch the Nova. And that's really the main reason why I ordered the salmon one is so that I could do this head to head comparison. When I initially saw the comet, my first desire was for this NASA one here in the background. But then I started eyeing the salmon one and I saw one of the folks got the salmon version as a pre-release model from Zelos to do a video on it before they had even been released. And the more I watched that video, the more I liked it. I was just shocked. I was eyeing the blue and gray one. And I think Shane at relative time got that one and did a video on it. However, Man, I hope this doesn't mess up anybody who has that watch and likes it, because I think it's one of those things where when you see it, you can't unsee it. But the quote color match date wheel, air quote color match date wheel, it's not color matched and and it sets my OCD nuts. Uh, the blue of the date wheel does not at all match the blue on the dial. And I think that that watch is stunning. Otherwise, the blue and gray, the way that it plays, I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. However, and I was going to order that. That was actually my first gut reaction was going to go with that one. And then I was going to get the NASA as a second one. However, after watching Sane's video, my OCD could not unsee that date wheel. And I know that if I wore it, all I would ever do is look at that date wheel and know that it doesn't match and it would drive me bonkers. So yeah, Asperger's has its pros and its cons. That might be a con because that would drive me nuts. Anyway, the salmon, thankfully, does not have that problem. The salmon one matches. It is beautiful and it's stunning. And so what I really wanted to do by getting both of these side by side is to see how the different textures and the shades of salmon or pink or whatever you want to call it. You don't call it pink. That's fine. I mean, I will note there is, I see a lot of dudes in the watch forums or watch Facebook groups or whatever, who will be like when somebody posts a salmon watch and they get all uppity uppity, like all capital letters, it's pink. Why, why don't you just call it pink? It's pink. well, you know, it's, it's technically not, it's not pink. There is such a color of salmon. Now I do have pink watches as well, and I like pink and I like salmon. And but on the color spectrum, on the official hex code and whatnot, right? There, there really is options that are more towards salmon than pink. Now, is that true for every salmon watch out there that might really be pink? Yeah, I don't know. Here, the the Nova looks a lot more pink when I put these side by side, where the Comet looks a little bit more salmon to me. 
I've done a whole nother video. I think it was with the Sari, Sari 169. I did a whole lineup of all of my like pink and salmon watches and I could probably do that again with some updates because I've got these and I've got a couple others on the table that I've been kind of just collecting because my hope is to find one or two that I just love more than all the others. Kind of like my pink L'Oreo. Like I think that pink L'Oreo is a forever keeper. Love it, love it, love it. And so I'm curious of all of these. I love this Salmon Nova right here. The problem that I have with the Salmon Nova is that, well, it's just too small. And that's relative. It's relative to me and my wrist and, and my wrist size. I don't even have a watch on because I was trying these on. But when I put this on, You'll notice I have it, that bracelet these came with, if I'm honest, wasn't very good. And so I took it off, I put it on this beads of rice, um, and I, I really like it on it, and I enjoy wearing this. But when I wear that, it feels a little small for me. And I don't know why it does that, because when I wear the Weiss 38 millimeter, which is very similar to that, hold on one second here, let me grab it. Okay. The Weiss 38 is very similar in dimensions and everything else but for whatever reason when i wear the weiss it doesn't feel tiny but when i wear the zelos it does and i have not been able to figure out for the life of me why that is the case like when i put these on there i mean they're almost identical in all size and dimension right but for whatever reason the weiss it doesn't wear as small to me it doesn't just look small the zelos just it wears and looks a little small so the closest thing to a uh, rational reason that i have come to think that that might be the case when i look down at these is that the design of the dial on the weiss with the big roman numerals and the whole field watch aesthetic it doesn't have a slimming aspect to it the nova has a lot of slimming aspects to it when you look at how thin the stick hands and indices and whatnot are, everything about this watch screams thin, which is wonderful because when you actually do that, it is thin. And that's part of the beauty of this watch was using this hand wound movement, how thin it was, right? And that's fantastic. Even with kind of that box dome style crystal, it's still super thin, right? And I love that. But for whatever reason, the thinness of this, the fact that it wears small for me, it keeps me from wearing this very much, which is funny because the guilloche, when I get in on this right here, this guilloche pattern is one of the nicest things I've ever seen on a watch, like of any watch. It's absolutely stunning. And I would say that with some of the exotic Grand Seiko and Seiko dials that I've seen with, you know, just all that stuff. I love textured dials and this guilloche pattern it just really is stunning. It has like a depth to it. Ah, it's hard to explain without kind of seeing it maybe in person. I hope some of that translates on the video for you. But yeah, so that is a drawback. It's a drawback because I otherwise would want to wear this watch all the time if it was like two mil bigger, two mil wider. Don't make it any thicker. Keep it thin, but two mil bigger and this would be a forever keeper. But that's one of the reasons I picked up this Comet. Now, when the Comet was originally announced, and I could be wrong with this, maybe I gotta go check my notes and check Elson's post. I thought he said this was supposed to be a 40 millimeter. It was a very similar case shape as the Starfighter, but just the Starfighters in general. I did a video on the Aventurine one. I was lucky enough to, to get one in from a friend and, and experience that and did a video on it. But the Starfighter is 40 millimeters, right? And it was funny to me, it wore small, but it wore small because of the bezel and a couple of other aspects of it. Well, this Comet, I thought it was going to be the exact same case, 40 millimeters wide, but without the bezel, meaning you'd have a little bit more dial presence and it would wear larger. Well, it turns out it's 39 millimeters in case width. It does not have a bezel, but I'm not sure if it wears as big as I was hoping for it to. Now, that's just with me eyeballing it, right? Like I keep it next to me. I haven't actually gotten wrist time with this yet. You can see this one is unworn. I haven't worn either one of my 
comments yet. I, I've got to put this one to the test. I'm going to be swapping out the straps on this today and I'm going to be getting it on the wrist. And so again, that's why I kind of wanted to say this was more of a first impressions video because I need to wear, in fact, I'm probably going to wear one of these on each wrist. I, I do that a lot. I double wrist kind of like market Long Island watch, but yeah, I, I will wear one on each wrist for a while and get a feel. And then I swap them on different hands to make sure like if one wrist uh, doesn't have a certain feel than another, but I will be doing Doing that with both of these i'm curious does anybody else out there have a nova and did you also pick up a comment and what has been your experience with it because as much as i love this one man i think i'm gonna like the comet better i just might and and even then i don't think i would like the comment as much as if i could get an actual 40 or 41 millimeter nova <laughs> like that's my that's what I really want. I really want a 41 millimeter Nova. Keep it thin, keep the guilloche pattern, keep this beautiful salmon, but make it 41 millimeters. It's a daunting task, right? When uh, and I say this so tongue in cheek, by the way, I'm being extremely sarcastic right now. But it is a daunting task to look at all of these amazing watches and nitpick the crap out of them so that I might be able to find the perfect one, right? The one, kind of like Lord of the Rings, the one ring to rule them all, right? Like, is that even possible? The one watch to rule them all? I I don't know. I don't think it does, but I'm going to still keep hunting for it. <laughs> right. And that why they call them grails. It's like the hunt for the Holy Grail, Indiana Jones style. That's what I'm doing. It's a never ending hunt, which makes for a good to hobby, because if if I could achieve it quickly, it would probably be a boring hobby. <laughs> Nothing boring about watches. Uh, at least I don't think so. I think most people would disagree with me. I think my wife would disagree with me. Anyway, that's what I wanted to look at real quick. I mean, we can look at the specs and all that kind of stuff. Let me do that real quick. Let me let me just show you the backs of these because that's another big difference. And it's one thing that I don't love about the Comet. Look at the beautiful movement and the design work. The I think it's Cote de Genève decoration. It's got the blued screws. Looking at this Nova, even though it's a little tiny, I always joke that it's like looking through a peephole, but it it really is beautiful. And then let me set that one down. Let me get this Weiss real quick and see what they've done. We get the Weiss. We get a similar type of thing. Not quite as beautiful as the Zelos, but still pretty good looking. It's got a little bit of the striping going on there on the base plates. A little bit of the decoration with the blued screws. So yeah, looking good. And now we're gonna look at the Comet and, oh, uh, really? Oh. Now I think people have commented on this and I think Elshin's reply back to him was to say that it is a Salida SW215 movement. So it is a good quality like Swiss made movement, but I think he was trying to keep the cost low on this. The cost for this one was 629, I think compared to the Nova come in at 899, right? So you got a little over hundred dollars difference there, but the decoration on this, I'm gonna be honest with you. I think I'm coming to the point in my hobby where if the movement's not gonna look good, I might rather have a really nicely decorated case back. <laughs> like I like the biotic, it's not gonna come to fruition, but the biotic for Miss A, that with the ant trucker on the back, I loved that. I absolutely, this is my, one of my favorite things about that watch, but yeah, so I loved that, the Vario Empire, Several others are doing like really nice decorated case backs instead of doing a see-through case back because at this rate Even though this is a nice fancy Swiss movement. I'm gonna be honest with you It looks no different than a cheap Seiko or Chinese knockoff Right it really you really can't tell a difference on this just because this thing looks so plain and simple Was it worth the cost savings? Maybe I don't know. I don't know how much it costs to get the decoration Anyway, 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 I'm rambling a little bit. It's all of this to say, let me give this a lot more wrist time. Let me see how that goes. I may end up enjoying it. I will say, I like the sector dial. I like the design and layout a little bit better. Is the Comet a dress watch? I don't know what the genres you put it in. I mean, the Zelos uh, Nova on the left is supposed to be a dress watch, right? This is kind of like a sector dial, somewhat looking field watch. I, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't know. 
Let's do a loom shot real quick and let's see what happens. So as far as Zelos goes, it's a great application of loom. I mean, I didn't give these a charge or anything like that. This is just from what was with my studio lights. However, it is nowhere near what normal Zelos especially the divers are. So like the swordfish is one of my all time favorite loom shots. They're the hammerheads pretty good too. So for what these are, the loom application is, it's okay. It's, I mean, it's a good application, but it's not like gonna knock your socks off when you turn the lights out, Get the lights back on. But let me see how that goes. Let me see how the comparison goes. There will be a future video to come to let, you know, maybe which one of these I'm, I'm, I can't keep all of these at some point I've got to sell a watch. Maybe, <laughs> maybe I always say that. I don't know. I get around to it eventually, but yeah, this is what I want to compare and look at. So I'm curious down in the comment section, can you please let me know? Like what is your favorite salmon or pink watch i know a lot of people uh want a salmon nova but haven't been able to get one because there was a limited number of them and they sold out in seconds but there's a lot of other brands like salmon is the or at least was i think now we're rolling into a stage where like purple is going to be the new color trend and but for a while there salmon was like the trendy cool color other than like the tiffany blue that's currently rolling through but what is your favorite salmon? I think the one that I haven't gotten my hands on yet, but that I'm really curious about is the mandala with all of its texture and the beautiful color of, of like salmon pink that they use. I think it's a really a good looking watch. So I'm curious about that. But yeah, what's your favorite salmon dial? Because I'm always, I'm always interested in another salmon. You know, blue is my all time favorite, but salmon's a close second. So yeah, let me know what you think about that. Put it down in the comments if you don't mind. So until we talk again, my friends, please remember what really matters and that that's not watches. Keep the insanity sane.